Make some noise for Strictly DT, ladies and gentlemen. When you hear Halo is in town, you know you're coming in for a bit of everything. We're loud. <laughs> During COVID, the music industry kind of died and I was kind of lost and a lot of my music friends were lost as well. I've always had a voice since I was young, singing with my father, because he's a musician. I come from a Tongan culture. It's very musical, everyone sings. I pretty much just was trying to look for a gospel, R&B, soul choir. I've just always wanted to be a part of something like that here in Melbourne. So I decided to create something to bring my community back together, and that was Halo. I think it's just this sense of family, because doing this thing solo and trying to be an independent artist, it can deplete you, it can defeat you. But I feel like even just coming to a rehearsal and being amongst the talent in that room and the creative energy, it really refills your cup in a way that you just can't get from anywhere else. I know that like, I can push myself to be better because there are other singers. You can learn so much from them. It definitely elevates you. It gives you that extra support and confidence knowing that you've got people hyping you up the whole way through. When you're working on your own stuff, you kind of become desensitized to your own feats. But when you're able to sit back and witness other people stepping into their purpose, that's when your mind starts to remember, oh, that's right, that's why we do this. I can bring you to the lake, but can't force you to drink. Meaning I can share my truth, but can't force you to think. I moved here from Seattle when I was 15, and I didn't see much of me being represented in the hip-hop world and music world in Australia. So when I see all of us up there and see we all come from so many different backgrounds, so many different cultures, it being heavily female-dominated, like all of that beyond music is just such a beautiful thing to see. I think it's so inspiring seeing that. That's really cool to have that representation. Halo Vocal Ensemble started first. It was literally everyone that I've worked with over my music lifetime, everyone I've collaborated with. So I guess Halo's more exclusive in that way because they're professional and they do music for a living. And then the Halo Vocal Academy was something that kind of branched off only just recently because when people started seeing us perform, a lot of messages kept flying our way. How do I be a part of this? Oh, Some of them have been doing this for 10 plus years. And then you're putting them on the same stage with someone who's never performed before. And it's like, we all managed to be on the same side, on the same ground, and just, you know, singing our hearts out. We got Halo Vocal Ensemble and Halo Vocal Academy joining here tonight. And some of them, it'll be their first time performing. They were just super excited, super overwhelmed by the opportunity and it made me kind of emotional too because it's exactly what I'm trying to create here. They absolutely just killed it. I honestly don't know how she does it. She really loves music more than anything, but also just seeing other people shine. This is how we do This is how we do it, baby. I found that this is my purpose. I don't know why I'm feeling emotional about this. 
It's just something I want to do for the rest of my life, you know, just seeing, creating opportunities and just seeing these singers grow. Everyone has a different story and it's the story I want to be a part of. Halo Vocal Ensemble and Halo Vocal Academy, make some noise!